Hi, hello and welcome to Talking About Scottish Football, is that the name? Well, the podcast is called Let's Talk About Football, but we are talking about Scottish Football last week because, well, nothing really to, not really talking about that, but it's like in general, but um, before we get into please subscribe and like, this review is good, um, for the others, um, let's get into it, um, I'll start off with, well, it's currently Celtic striker Edward, he was looking to miss the at least four European qualifying matches if he also stays at Celtic. Mm. Due to his involvement with France at the Olympics, that was that's a Scottish turn. There you go. Um, Rangers, are Mon- is that monopolise? I don't, I don't know. I spell. Let me see. What does it say? Monopolise. All right. The Scottish Football Writers Association Player of the Year nominations. Not surprised to be honest. The other team great this year. If goalkeeper Al McGregor, captain James Tavernier, defender Conor Golson, and midfielder Stephen Davis, and they're on in for the. Stephen Davis should be that important. Well, you know, well, it's, 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 um, that's the Scottish Football Writers yeah. Association Player of the Year. Um, if you always do what you read from there, just them two. The club's former midfielder and assistant manager, Don, Don Collins, assists, insists Celtic's new manager must prioritise keeping Callum McGregor ahead of signing a host of new mm. players this summer. Interesting thought, always, for sure, a point on it. Would you think, should we keep Callum McGregor for next season? Yes. If he wants to. Yeah. He's the captain. I don't think he should be a captain. But Neither do I, but he's the captain. If it was up to me, I or Welsh would be captain. Oh, yeah. Um, because we'll move on to the next point. We'll talk about more yes, in a minute, yeah. Um, Kyle Lafferty is admin. He wants to stay in Scotland next season, and the Kamarnock striker has refused to re- remain at Rugby Park, even if his team suffer relegation. Um, the Tartan Army will not be able to celebrate together the Euros, but if you ruling it out, Ruling all fans must sit alone with four seat gap to next to the next person, even if they are from the same household. Mate, you're over there. Mate, hello. Oh, come on, come on. Get, get my car keys. What? Car keys. Oh. <laughs> no, it wasn't a goal, it was a corner. Anyway, can, on can to I, the next one. Hey, Gordon plans to train with the horse under 18s and. His goalkeeping coach, he might as well be a coach at this rate, okay. to keep himself sharp for the summer European Championship. That was on the daily record. The Euros. Um, Hibs teenager Josh Doig should copy ex Celtic ace Kim Tini's career. Choices by staying at Easter Road will a, a while longer before his big move, says former Easter Road manager John Collins again. Um, if you want to go on those, if you want. I think I'll read one about Aberdeen. Okay then. <laughs> Soon to be Celtic player Liam Shaw, obviously from Sheffield Wednesday. Um, 20 has been warned about a potential lack of opportunities at the Glasgow club by former manager Tony Pulis. I don't think, I don't think that's fair on him because I think you will. I think you will get a chance under new manager yeah. if it's Eddie Howe. I think you will. Aberdeen chairman David Cormack hopes there is a light at the end of the tunnel for fans hoping to return to football matches in Scotland. I can still play in the Premiership, says veteran Wraith Rovers goalkeeper Jamie McDonald. I remember he used to play for Hearts. He was preparing for the second leg of the player court playoff quarterfinals with Dunfermline on Saturday. Well, that was that was a couple of days ago. So this is Saturday now. So that game has already been played. Um, I don't know what was going. Wraith Rovers win. Well, let's go into the transfer news now. So, uh, it's this play here. Should you know he is now. Uh, he played for Mal. It's Declan Gallagher. He has signed a pre-contract to join Aberdeen for obviously from Mal this summer. The Scotland international with age thirty. Jeez, I didn't know he was that old. Doesn't look that old. I heard of him, but I thought he was in his like early like twenties. And he has agreed a two-year contract with the Dons after making 17, 17, 17, 72 appearances for well, uh, where he has been captain. Um, he'll be joined at the toddy by Celtic skipper Scott Brown. Sad times. Who has also agreed a, a summer move north. Um, if you want to continue. Us. Aberdeen says Aberdeen manager Steam Glass says Gallagher is one of the country's top centre backs. The defender started his career at Celtic but made his name with Dundee and Livingston before moving to Fir Park in 2019. He's made 364 club appearances and seven for his country. Okay, before we move on to the next point, Lucy, you sound like one just a news report. I don't know how you just sound. Um, it's just a voice I do when oh. I'm reading out stuff but on camera. I, I don't really know. Uh. That's fine though. We are delighted to be able to add someone of Declan's cool, yeah, De- Declan's quality f- to the first team. Uh, Glass told out the Aberdeen website. I already just read about your names. Uh, Basically, Declan. he was yeah. he had to file for um, the So we'll move on to another point of the the episode, guys. Episode. <coughs> By the way, can I do the next transfer for that one guy, the goalkeeper? Yeah, sure. Um, Thank you. 
I but that won't be on this. This one, it'll be on uh, the Celtic Mind film. No, I think it should be on this one. Okay. Um, let me just... Um, We're just setting up something, guys, real quick. Right. Um, I, don't, I don't need that, actually. Right. So, anyway, Lewis, so let's... Right, I'll go to the point... I'll just read the title, Lewis, and then you want to read the next bit, don't you? Mm. Or you want to read the bit of the goalkeeper? Yeah. Okay. Um, Force and Johnson players to miss semi-final after two positive COVID-19 tests. That was... On Thursday, on Thursday night, it was announced. Um, I'll put it in the middle. It was uh, the four sort of it's um, the, 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 the Scottish Cup semi final will face at Midden tomorrow. And um, the club say the two players are advised to isolate the test and negative when the latest town uh, round of the tests were all negative. Callum, Callum Davidson's side are bidding for a cup double after winning the League Cup in February. Uh, he said it's very unfortunate for four of his players to miss um, out on an important game on Sunday. St Johnson said. However, we wish them all well and their health well and well being will always be our pri- priority. Uh, we will keep our supporters updated if we need to share further information. Uh, Sunday's match at Hamden, which kicked off just for notices, guys, if you're wondering, at quarter past four uh, four tomorrow, guys, Sunday. Uh, what what we're playing on watch yeah, two. yeah. Um in UK time, which will be broadcast from BB on Scotland. Quarter past two. Quarter past four. Oh well. Uh, BBC right. Um, it doesn't really say anything about that. It just it's says about just it's yeah. Um. So one of the four players expected for the game against Celtic. There you go. Um. So this is the next part of the episode, guys. Where we're going to be discussing the old firm Colt teams. It uh, could be playing a SPFL pyramid, a pyramid next term after a, the Lowland League confirmed it's in productive talks with Celtic Rangers over a one season invite. On Lewis, if you want to. The Lowland League says the proposal, which is at an early stage, would aid its clubs, the old firm youngsters, development and the Scottish game. SPFL clubs would have vote in favour at a recent plan for old firm Colts to play in a 16-team League 2 next season, fail to attract enough support. Both B sides have competed, have competed in the Scottish Challenge Cup, along with under-21 teams from all Premiership clubs since 2018-19. Uh, the Lowland and Highland Leagues are the fifth tier of Scottish football, with, with the champions of each division playing each other for the right to face League Two's bottom club in the playoff final. Right. The importance of the pyramid will be, well, unaffected, will be affected basically. by the plan, says the chairman. Um, so that's a picture there. Right, so before we get into the, the Marciano stuff, before that was, um, I've just got my, another news for Celtic. Celtic will play West Ham. And a pre-season finale on the 24th of July at Celtic Park, which is maybe we'll see fans back by then, Lewis. You know, West Ham. I um, probably won't want to see that match. I mean, I think they should let them in for free, to be honest. It's a friendly match, it's not like a... I'm considering how long we've been on. Yes. No, on to the right, I so Lewis wants to do it, right. Hand over the phone, big man. Celtic are set to make an offer for Hibernian goalkeeper Othir Marciano after the 2020-21 season. Celtic short stoppers have all shown they are that they aren't fit for the jobs, apart from Connor Haddon, but he's too he's been too young and unexperienced by the club and fans. Mm-hmm. Marciano is an experienced goalkeeper and has also played in Scotland, which would add to his level. What are you thinking about it, Liam? Um, I think it's going to be a good deal, to be honest. Um, oh, that's the wrong one I pressed. Um, I think. If we get the deal done, I don't know who's doing the deals, but I think it would be a good deal. You know, what I think he could really help us in Europe. Yes, he's proven yeah, time and time again he's a proper goalkeeper. He's exactly what we need. Let's look at his stats. Let's look at his stats. Um, on the even even uh, noon evening news, it uh, Marciano has offer offers in Scotland as head goalkeeper mulls over future. But I think he could, he would definitely be what the team um, needs. His stats are... Oh, Obviously he's got zero goals and assists. Well, I want his stats like his saves and stuff. I don't know, I'll tell you that. Like, well, that doesn't matter. Um, he's at Israeli, which is good. Uh, or, you know, any, well, I'm just saying Israel. Um, Played for Ashdod and Royal oh, Excel. Interesting. Which can, they're quite good in Belgium. Actually. Yeah, his height is 1.93 metres. Can you see... That is six. Oh my god, six, six foot, foot three. three. Marciano is six foot three. That's mad. I think he would be. He could really do a job in Europe. I think. Compared to if uh, you know what guys, we time for this. Let's search up Scott Baines' height. Eh? Uh, 
So six foot three. Scott Bain's five foot nine. No, five foot ten. Height and feet. Oh, one point. Um. Yes, one point eight three meters. Um, one point eight three and feet is six foot. So Marshall is only six and uh, foot, hey, no, six feet. I thought he was five foot ten. No, he's six foot. Um, so Marshall is only three inches taller than him. Mad, isn't it? But in terms of skill, Marshall. Oh yeah, yeah. Man, I yeah. think he's one of the best goalkeepers in Scotland. Definitely. Um. Definitely. Oh, so he's still quite young for a goalkeeper. What age is he? Thirty-one. Thirty-one. That's so uh, not um. Very young. young for a goalkeeper. Um. Reasons his targets so. I, I know obviously Hibs are in the final of the Scottish Cup as well. Aye. Early on they beat Dundee United 2-0. Because he's leaving at the end of the season. So, I don't know who's getting this deal. Like You're, hearing, you're speaking of it. I don't know who's getting this deal done. Or hearing about it. Um, yeah. But, All I'm saying is interesting news. Making very the first choice goalkeeper. And he will show that he can bring Celtic to the next level. Um, do you know what, Lewis? Let's talk about... Um, well, let's talk a bit, a bit more about um, Scottish football. So, let's talk about. Um, you know, I'd kill to bring Marciano in. Ooh, we've got a bit of transfer news as well. Um, is there anything to do with Marciano moving to Celtic? Can you say we'll go something, there is something? So, we do have a bit of news, I, but we have more. Happy Obersheva are keen on. Taking Celtic defender uh, midfielder, sorry, Maria Beaton with Maki, Maka, Maccabi, is it Maki, I don't know, Tel Aviv, sorry, also interested in taking the Israel and National back home. Maria Beaton, I wouldn't argue, you know, um, to be honest. He's, is anyone going to complain? Um, we'll talk a bit more. Uh, German side VFL Botchum have joined the race for Rangers playmaker Yanis Hadji, um, according to reports in his There's native no Romania. Well, I mean, money, money talks, as they say. Money the talks, but also their first title for the club. Um, Christian Joyce insists former Hibs manager John Collins was wrong to say his strike partner Kevin Nisbet does not work hard enough off the ball. So he's he's he basically talking yeah. Um, Come in, Marciano, please. St Mirren boss Jim Goodwin calls for the five substitutes rule to be made oh. tournament help Scottish clubs develop younger players. I'm shocked about Marciano, but I really do think he... Would you, yeah. What do you think about that, Lewis? Um, do you think rule, yes. Um, being permanent, do you think that's better for young players oh, coming yeah, in? Oh yeah, it should always be yeah. permanent. Um, yeah. We'll talk a bit more. Fleetwood Town... I think ha- there should be six of them, mm-hmm. but one's reserved for injuries only. Good point. There is one where it's head injuries. Um, oh, right, because obviously... It's like What's it called? Concussion in- concussion substitution? There's one more. I else. think just in general for injuries where the yeah. player has to be taken off and a, it should be a free yeah. substitute. Um, Fleetwood Town, Town's highly rated teenager Josh Feeney is a chapter of interest from a host of English Premier League clubs and Celtic. I mean, like, is anybody scouting these players? Who's scouting it? Our, scout, our scouter's gone. He's, he's doing something else now. What, who's. I don't know what's happening. I wonder who scouted Marciano then, to be fair. Please just. Whoever's in charge of transfers, um, please. If I can look at... It's better than Bain. Yeah. Um, and Farkas. I don't know if there's any more news. Hibs easy by United to storm into the Scottish Cup final. Um, oh, and that note about Rafe Rovers. They actually beat them firmly to reach Premiership playoff semi-final. Um, any other news? I'll try and, try and get any before we end the... The podcast. Um, to be honest, I don't know, but um, we can talk. We can talk a bit more if you want. But um, oh, can we make this I've list because it's, it's mad, right? Lewis, can we make this since it's a podcast, right? I'm going to make this right because we're going to let's talk about football, right? Or we can make it let's let's um, two Scots to talk about football, right? Okay, I'll change this. I'll change the podcast name. Right? I think but let's talk about football. Let's talk football. Okay. Um, but it's not unique enough, and you, if you ask me. So, we'll create one in. Well, what do you think? What do you think? Um, I think we should continue with the Celtic mind. Okay, well, this is not Celtic mind, though. This is a whole Scottish football. Although, I think there should be episodes dedicated to just football in general. The Celtic mind. 
Talk world football as well. Let's talk Scottish football. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, so, what we're going to do, I'm going to try those because I'm... So one of us each week, right? So can we start with you this week? I'll, I'll say that, right? Mm-hmm. What, what is first is, right? It's just like this last time. So we're going to do a quiz every episode, right? So one one time it's going to be me. Okay. So it's going to be me versus you, okay? Yeah. So... Open the quiz. It's just... Oh, okay, Google just wants to open up, okay? For festive lights. Mate, I, I don't know. Right, so basically what we're going to do is, right? So we both have a quiz, right? So obviously I'll, I'll say the this question. This is just going to be random quizzes every week. Oh, it's Scottish Premiership. It's Scottish Premiership quiz. Oh, I'm in danger. Because it's it's let's talk Scottish football. Sure, but I'm not going to uh, go to the Scottish Premiership. Either. But loose, there's not going to be cheating. No nothing. No nothing. Um, so let's do it. So loose. I can't be like that one. Show your mum was always on in the car. Like the people have to like like. Answer questions about me, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that one, the Friday, let's call yourself a DJ, Jesus, oh. Right, so right, you're you know what I mean, no, I thought you'd make up Aye. random quizzes, like whether it be, how many animals can you name that start with the letter V? Oh, that's stop the bus, oh, right, okay, I understand. Like, just know. random things. A bit, um, yeah. I, I, I. So, it'll be me going first, guys, and I'll get a quiz for Lewis, right? How so many yeah. banana peels can you eat in a minute? Give me the, just give me the questions. Go to our website right again. Um, it should load. Um, okay. Um, I'm not too sure if I like this. Uh, no, it's just maybe. it's me taking the quiz this week. Yeah, um, but I'm not too sure if I like the idea of it. Why? Yeah, I don't think it fits with the podcast. It does. So it's a quiz that I see you as the best of this week. It's just I thought it was a good idea. Was okay. Hmm. Right, okay, so that's question one there. I can't see, it doesn't say the answers, right? So, uh, it'll be me going first versus Lewis. Um, it's Liam versus Lewis or Lewis versus Liam, whatever you want to say. Here Rangers go. signed Cedric in on August 4th, but which Swiss team did they get him from? Basel, Young Boys, St. Gallen, or Grasshoppers? <laughs> grasshoppers? Um, I mean, young Boys is the weirder name here. Um. Um. See, can you see the what no, there was the quite was um the third the third club Saint Gallen Saint Gallen is it right? You you get to know the ones. What? I'll tell you at the end, but I can't. Okay, 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 okay. Who scored the only goal as Hamilton beat Rangers at Mar- at Ibrox in March? Oh. David Moyo, Hakim. Oh Ogilvy. yeah, I know this one. Yep, yep. This is this is like um I remember from last year before lockdown. I remember it. It was David Moyo, wasn't it? The first one you also got correct. Oh yes, two, two for, so far guys, I'll mark my score down anyway. Who was the top scorer in League 2 for 2019-20 with 24 goals? Salim Kudir, Isa, Declan Byrne, Mitch McGinson or Shane Sutherland? <laughs> Jesus. Um, Shane Sutherland. Mitch McGinson. Oh right, I was never getting that one. By how many points were Partick Thistle relegated when the Championship ended and points for games were used? Uh-huh. 0.04, 0.21 or 0.08? B. 0.2, 0.04, the first one. Oh, it was the first one, it was right. Mm. Oh. Who oh. was awarded 2020's first Premiership Manager of the Month? Lennon, Gerrard, Jack Ross or Gary Holt? Well, let me think about it. So, obviously, at the start of 2020. Yeah, right. first Premiership so, Manager of the Month award. Right, so obviously, Rangers beat Celtic at Celtic Park. I'm going to say... I mean, Lennon did have a good start of the season You've as well. You've also got Jack Ross and Gary Holt. Who could have gotten it? I screw it, Jack Ross. Okay, let me just... If it's Stephen Gerrard, I'll accept uh, or Neil Lennon. I'll Gary accept. Holt. Oh, he used to be the uh, old lovey manager. I'm sure I want David Moberg Carlson tormented Celtic in the Europa League, but which Premiership club did he once play for? Kilmarnock, Dundee United, Hibs or Ross County? Is he the Copenhagen player? I oh, probably was. Um based on his name. What was the club again? Kilmarnock, Dundee United, Hibs and Ross County. Hibs? I would have guessed Dundee. I don't know if it was Kilmarnock. I would have guessed Dundee United. Yusuf Malumbu right. returned to Kilmarnock for oh, first Jesus spell. Then. But where does he come from? 
The Ivory Coast, Zimbabwe, DR Congo, Democratic Republic, Congo, or South Sudan. That's what the DR Congo is in the long game. B. Zimbabwe. Yeah. DR Congo. Fuck that. Hibs brought back Stefan Omionga in January, but from which Serie A club? Genoa, Bologna, Verona, Sampdoria. Sampdoria? Genoa. Jeez, I'm not doing well, I've only got two <laughs> points. Got two away so far. Who was named by the Scottish Football Writers Association as Young Player of the Year? Aaron Hickey. Right. Kent. Fer- Lewis Ferguson or David Turnbull? Nobody, uh, I don't think you can see Brent Kent's full name. Um, mm. So it was 2020, the line of the last season, wasn't it? Probably. I would guess it's, you get, since Aaron Hickey's I would guess it's Lewis Ferguson. Aaron, H- H- um, Aaron Hickey? No. Lewis Ferguson, like oh. that is. You might as well have been on Puma. Uh, right back, Ronald, Ronald Hernandez joined Aberdeen in January 2020. Oh, I heard him. Which South African country is he from? <laughs> What's his question? Wait, I better uh, get questions for you, like I say. This is a joke. Ecuador, Colombia, or Venezuela? Venezuela. Correct? Yeah, three, three, three points. There we go. There we go. Can we, is that the end of it? Mm-hmm. Right, oh, Liz. What club did. No, still nine more questions. Then co- I'm on three points anyway. It's we're only living for twenty. Which club did Celtic sign Kamala from? Uh, oh, give me the options now. Slask, Wolkrow, Jagiellonia, Bialy, Stoke, Lech Poznan, or Wisla Krakow. The last one. Wisla Krakow. Wisla Krakow. Yeah. Wisla Krakow. Yeah. Wisla Krakow. Yeah. 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 Yeah. Wisla
I don't know, I'm gonna do. Right, here we go, beautiful. Are you finished? Right. Yeah. Um, I was actually trying to make the hat trick one easier for you. Right. For my, um, for my niceness. I can't see my point, but I ended up giving it to him. Right. Right, are you ready, Lewis? Um, so I'll do 20 questions as usual. Um, there's no time limit, of course. Um, and it says the score up at the top. Oh, it's a different one. It's a different one. Yeah, I know, I'm just telling you. Okay. It should say the score there. So, I got, well, you know all my score, guys. I'll say it out loud and proud. Eight I got 20. 8 out of 20. Yeah. You technically got one extra point because I made you no, wrong. No, I, I got purpose. the point on. I put the point on. I know because I made you wrong on purpose because oh. I thought you made the pony who scored one goal last year. So I, I thought I'll be a good friend, make it a bit easier for the hardest question, I would say. And it was actually the right answer to. So, right. uh, yeah, I, I hate the winning. What? So, this is which current Premiership club have never won the Scottish Cup or the League Cup? A. Ross County. B. Livingston, C. Hamden, Academ Ac uh, Academical, we'll say the full name, uh, like we're on the Champions League or something, or D. St. Mirren. St. Mirren. <coughs> it was Hamilton. Hamilton. Mm. Um, I thought you'd have went to that, by the way. Uh, who, who has picked up the most yellow cards in the Premiership this season? Is it Gary Dicker, Liam Fontaine, Lewis Ferguson, or Liam Donnelly? Liam Donnelly. Correct. One point on the, the leaderboard for Lewis. Already done better. So, uh, this one, Colin. Yeah, um... You got your first question on the second question, so did I. Next point, uh, next, next, next point, next question. How many teams have City in their name in the SPFL? Is it A1, is it B2, is it C3, or is it D4? I thought the audio was the caption there, thank God. Right. Have City, like the word City, or... In have the SPFL, yeah, have the City... How many teams have City in their name? Okay, so it's not a name with a City in it? How many teams have City in their name? In, in their, like, I think it's like saying, like, you know, for example, like Man City or something like that, I'm pretty sure. Right, okay, Man City for the questions. Um, A1, B2, C3, or D4? Who? No, you've got that wrong. I'm sorry. Oh. It's actually three. You were close. Um. Well, they didn't say the answer. It just says it says. Yeah, I'm just thinking. Interesting, isn't it? Interesting. Well, do you know what? We'll probably end up being like Livingston, and it's just short until I'm saying something like that. Places. Oh, teams. Oh, teams. And the SPFL who have city in the name. Right, I'll give you the answers. Uh, I'll uh, Beacon City. Edinburgh City and Elgin City. Right, in week two, we'll start trying. Oh, right. I'm so confused. Right, back to the quiz. Right. Who has the most clean sheets in League One this season? Is it David Hutton from RJ? Is it Aaron Lennox from Montrose? Is it Greg Fleming from Peterhead? Or is it Robbie Mooch from Falkirk? Three. Or Much? Sorry if I've messed up the name. Three. What? C? Yeah. Greg Fleming from Peterhead? Yes. No. Currently, it's still on one point, Lewis, but you can still come back. Um, who has the most assists in League 2 a season? When it comes to general football knowledge, I'm, yeah. I'm surprisingly um, good at it, but when it comes to specific league... I'll read the question, uh, I'll read the question again. Mm -hmm. Who has the most assists in yeah, League 2 this season? A. Jane Mason, Cole Rangers. Uh, Craig Thompson. Him. Craig Thompson. Oh, well, okay, if you want me to like, finish the question, uh, the answer's no. No? No, 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 the rest Craig Thompson. No, you never got it right anyway. It was Jamie Mason. Uh, Celtic hold the record for the most consecutive appearances in a League Cup final, but how many was it? Is it A4, B7, C10, or D14? 10. You were so close, but yet so far, it was full time. Um, okay, this is a woman's one, okay? A woman's. Uh, I don't know if you'll get it right. Um, skip it. Who are Glasgow City? Uh, just get a guess, Lewis. Who are Glasgow see, City? You, Lewis, let me see the answer first. I was just going to say, see, I don't know anything about women's football. A, Wolfsburg, B, Leon, Arsenal, or Barcelona? C. Mm, I know, Wolfsburg. Which team is currently bottom of the Roman League? 
Veil of Rethen. Right. That will beat East Durham. Edinburgh University or Gretna 2008. Gretna 2008? Nope. There's no way they're any good. Vala Rethen. I'm on Google Gretna 2008. <laughs> Bora Rangers were crowned as winners of the Highland League, but who were the runners up? Is it for Martin United, Freyborough, Inverurie, Wo- Local Freesborough. Works, or Bucky Thistle? Mm. Bucky Thistle. Or Freesborough, I don't know. Inverurie, Local, local Works. What? Sounds like a, a, um, a company. Who? When was the last time neither Celtic or Re- nor Rangers won the top of the division in Scotland, so the Scottish Premiership? I know, I know. A, 1988 season. B, 1982-83 season, C, 1984-85 season, or D, 1986-87 season? B. You say you know this? Yeah. Wrong. Wait, what? 1984. Oh my god, I must have misremembered. Right. Thanks, Sir Alex Ferguson. Lewis, you've got a 70 catch-up way. Um, you've still got um, nine questions. You can catch up. Not it's possible. You can catch up. Um, which which year did this first Scottish Cup final take place? Don't see your answer right away, Lewis. Right, let me see the answers, okay? A, 1871. B, 1872. Right. C, 1873. Or D, 1874. C, 1873. One year away, Lewis. 1894. Eh, uh, 74, sorry. I think you should get this one, Lewis. I think you should get this one. Uh, who scored the opening goal of last season's Scottish Cup final? Right, it's just last season, so we're talking about um, we're talking about Celtic Hearts yeah. and Treble Treble season, okay? That shut up their eyes, right? Okay. Who scored? Right, so it's Ayers, A. Sean Clare, B. Cal McGregor, C. Ryan Edwards, or D. Odds Edwards. Before you say answer, it is a Hearts player. That's a big Ryan clue. Edwards. Correct. Lewis gets a second point of the 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 the, 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 quiz, the quiz. So that's two so far. Two out of twelve was. Uh-huh. Which manager has won the most Scottish Cups? Is it Willie Maley, Walter Smith, Jock Steen, or Bill Truth? Jock Steen, I'm gonna guess. He did no. Celtic too, like Willie Maley. Mm. When was the last Scottish Cup final not to be played at Hamden? Remember, this is when Hamden was getting decorated. Yeah. 1993, 1998, 2014, or 2018? 2014. Correct, Lewis. Oh my God, Lewis, you're actually on the comeback. Yes, is a joke. You only, I've got eight, you're on three. Um, which club which club holds the record for the longest winning streak in the Scottish Cup final appearances? Is it A, Aberdeen, B, Celtic, C, Hearts, or D, Rangers? Celtic. Yeah, Celtic man, Lewis. It was Rangers. Really? Yes. Oh, Jesus. Um, between 1902 and 2016, how many Scottish Cup finals did Hib- Hibs lose? A, A, 8, B, 10, C, 12, or D, 14? It's 8. Eight. They won't lost eight. Ten. Super. Right. Okay. This is so. For example, pretend this is a paper. Right. Imagine mm-hmm. us. Right. Super Cali go ballistic. Celtic are atrocious. Was twenty years ago. But who was the Celtic a score goal scorer that night? Was it Mark Burchill, Mark Viduka, Lombora Maracic, Lobo, Sorry, Lobo Maracic, or Ayal Berovic. Maracic. No. It was Mark Butcher. Okay, I can't come back for us. I'll end the question though. Um, okay, that's a one one, so we'll just move on to 19 and 20, okay? Ross County were the only Premiership team to be knocked out of this season's fourth round. Who knocked them out? Was it Air United? Air United. <laughs> I mean, I know you said the other ones, but they're fair play. So, guys, obviously, we're talking about this is the last season of the Scottish Cup, that also not this season, okay? Um, And the last question oh, that was. was last Ah, you got it right, you got mm-hmm. er, A bro hold the record one of 36 and over overblown accord in 1885 on oh, the same day. Dundee Harp beat Aberdeen Rovers by what score? 32 now, 33 now, 34 now. 34 now. Or 35 now. 34 now. Are you locking in your answer? Yeah, it's locked ten. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you're not even coming back, you're on four, but. Lewis, you might get f- you might get five points this week. Or you might stay in three. Eh, four, sorry. 
you're wrong. It was 35 mil. I read it was 35 Well, mate, I can tell you the bloody answer there, look. In green. So, guys, thanks for watching this week's episode of Let's Talk About Scottish Football. Um, what do you think about this week? Was good, good episode? Yeah, I'm liking Let's Talk About Scottish Football yeah. more than the Celtic Mind, yeah. really. Yeah, yeah. So very we'll be good. back for an episode very soon, guys. But very thanks good. for watching the first episode, guys. Very and I'll good. see you guys um, for the next episode very soon. Until then, guys. Very good. Peace for me. And for my Unai Emery. Good evening. Good night. <laughs>